Welcome to the first episode of our Tower Defense Game Development Series, where we'll explore the process of creating and coding a tower defense game in Unity. Today, we'll dive into the weapons creation and coding. So let's get started. Let's say we'll have three different weapons. A base weapon. This one will be the cheapest. A weapon that slows the enemies. And a cannon. This one will be stronger and more expensive. Each weapon will have unique attributes, such as range, damage, and firing rate. Feel free to download the weapons in the link in the description. Now that we have our weapons for the game, let's create our project in Unity. In our Unity Assets folder, we can create a new folder called Imports. And here we can drag our FBX weapons inside a new folder called Weapons. The next step will be to drag our weapons to the hierarchy, and apply new materials to each part. Because they don't come with textures, it's better to create new materials in Unity. And you can also modify each weapon in Maya, Blender, or any other 3D software. Before we go into the coding aspect, we need to transform our weapons with the new materials into prefabs. In our assets folder we'll create a new folder called prefabs, and then another one called weapons. You can modify the names before dragging the new weapons into the folder. Each prefab will be a new variant. Now, we can delete the weapons in the hierarchy, and open each prefab by double-clicking in the prefabs folder. We need to create an empty game object, call it rotation part, and change the rotation to minus 90 degrees, and drag all the objects we want to rotate, inside that game object. This game object will be the one that will rotate in the direction of the enemy. After repeating the last step for all the weapons, we can finally start coding. We'll create an empty game object called Game Manager, and inside, another empty game object, that we can call Weapon System. After that, we'll create a new folder for our scripts. And inside a new c -sharp script called Weapon System.
let's not forget to apply the script to the weapon system game object. Here in Visual Studio, we'll start by creating a variable for each of our weapons, and another variable that will be the weapon to build. After that, we'll create a function that will say that whenever we press a button, the weapon to build changes to the desire weapon. We need to create a public void and give it a name. And inside, all we need to do is to say weapon to build equals our weapon. Back in Unity, we can start by dragging each weapon to the right variable. And after that, we can build our buttons. Please note, that for the purpose of this tutorials, I'm going to keep it simple, but you can download the buttons graphics pack, in the link in the description. Once we have our button set, we need to create the on-click events. We can select all of them, press plus, and drag the weapon system to the event. Then in each button, we just need to choose the right function. And that's it for this tutorial. If you press play with the weapon system, game object selected, you should be able to see that if you press the button, the weapon to build changes. In the next video, we'll be covering the actual building system that will allow us to create the weapons in our scene, as well as creating a target for the weapon.